Hello, um, we're here. Yeah, lockdown three, the quiz where I constantly worry about Norwich. Uh, Swansea are on the break, if anyone's interested. I'm not. Oh, I can't cope with this. Yeah, it's Norwich's biggest game of the season. Uh, first against third, and I'm here entertaining you, indeed. Let's hope for a 1-0 a to Norwich before it starts, just to settle the old nerves. i tell you what didn't settle the old nerves, that spicy noodles I had earlier. Oh, they didn't settle nothing. Anyway, let's have a beer. So, yeah, yeah, 11 on the quiz. We have nine minutes to go. It's looking good. So, as I say, I am here on a Friday night. Half eight, we start. Um, and, yes, Norwich are playing their biggest game of the season, hence getting the shirt back out. And I'm here entertaining you, so I've got to worry about that in the background. Please don't put in the comments a score, because... If you put a fake score, you're getting kicked. If you put a real score, you're going to worry me. So just leave it to yourselves. And I'll look when it's all over. You know, I think I might just do this. Watch Jay McDonald and look at the score on my phone at the end. Because I, I, I can barely cope with it. Um, hello, Mum. How are you doing? Uh, big news for next week. We're looking at something new on Zoom. Sick of the scavenger hunt. Sick of the Pictionary. I've got to think of something new to do. So we're going to try something new uh, but obviously to do that i need a few more attendees because it's been slow recently right hello paul how are you doing we've got three on the stream so just coming online we've got 14 on the quiz already and swansea are breaking um i don't know if you want me to uh, do some commentary on the match probably not not them too um the quiz code here just for people who don't know who don't watch any of my videos or don't ignore all the posts i put up there it's six six two zero one eight. That's 662018. Two artists in the family. Yeah, indeed. Sarah's picture today I thought was absolutely brilliant. As was Charlotte's. If we're not a little bit rude, but we don't we don't tell her that, do we? Um, so seven on the stream, 16 on the quiz, and Swansea are breaking again. And I'm trying not to look at it because you don't ah oh, it's, it's a goal kick, it's fine. Um put in the comments, or you're not wrong? sorry. Oh, yes, I'm gonna put the code in the comments as my wife. Has suggested because I'm sure some of you just stick me on mute until the quiz actually starts because I just waffle, don't I? So um, here we go. I'll put the um, code in there. Can't talk and type. Can't talk and type. 16 on the quiz. 16 on the quiz. Five minutes on the Norwich game. We're still nil nil. I, I like that. I like that a lot. No oh dear. Terrible pass. Um, okay. Oh, um, um, if anyone's interested in what I'm drinking tonight, and as we have nine on there already, I'm assuming Dan might be with us already. I've gone traditional tonight. My wife is making me drink duplicate beers, i.e. beers I have more than one of, hence duplicate. Uh, so tonight I'm enjoying a waggle dance. Yes, I've just enjoyed a, what's I have first, a hooky gold, and I've enjoyed a waggle dance, one of my favourites. Uh, David Herman sent a picture. I don't, I don't want to know what it is. It's probably us losing. So I'm just going to ignore it because um, I am behind on the stream. Can I watch some live? Well, I have got um, I have got my other iPad here alongside oh, <laughs> alongside the um, alongside the quiz stream and the quiz on the iPad. But I will be turning off during the quiz because mm. it's going to be far too distracting. It wasn't picture of Norwich losing; it's a picture of a quiz platter. Ooh. That's an idea. What does great oh, grapes a bit too a bit too fancy for me? Oh, I like the cheese and onion sticks. Oh yeah, that's a lovely platter. Oh God, one of you breaking, Sarah. Just give it a sec. <laughs> You've got twenty on your quiz. Twenty on the quiz. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's all right. It's out. It's out. Um, thank you, Graham, for the lovely picture of me drinking. Um, I don't know if I've got any bonus questions tonight. I, like, I know you like a bonus question, but I'm not sure if I've got any tonight. But as you say, 20 on the quiz already, and we've still got five minutes to go. Um, 16 on the stream. Here's Jack. Hello, Jack. Ignore the number he's put on there. The number you need is 662018. That's 662018. I've eaten those cakes, Christine Vaughan. But yeah, I had a big piece tonight. So I, don't know if I, I don't know if I manage another one. What a bread. What a... Boys tackle by Max Aaron's. That was fantastic. Anyway, um, 
Adam and Charlotte. Uh, no uh, problem, born but approval on the platter. So we have 22 on the quiz. So we've broken the numbers of last week already, and we have still got four minutes left. Um, and we have 16 on the stream, which is high for the stream as well. So welcome to Lockdown 3, the quiz where Richard worries about Norwich. Oh, Swansea have got a free kick in a very dangerous position. Um, <laughs> Hi, Bernie. How are you doing? Is she supporting Swansea? Well, actually, as Bernie is in Wales, maybe she is supporting yeah. Swansea. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I might just have to watch this freak in a minute or not watch it. Just watch it from the corner of my eye and Sarah can tell me what's happened. Because I, as I was telling my friends at work today, I get so stressed doing Norwich matches. What I do, I put the Sky Norwich on. I put the um, um, Sky on the telly. And then I join it up somehow with uh, two men talking about Norwich on YouTube. Because even if we're losing, then at least to get the bias commentary. So um, it kind of helps. Bernie says she's in Cardiff. It's against the law to support Swansea. That's what I like on the stream. We have 19 on the stream. Now, that's big numbers. And, oh, great block by the wall. And the keeper's got it. 23 users logged in, ready to quiz their mind out, my mind off. So... A few previews, obviously, of the quiz, because you've all joined me on the stream. You're here for previews. I'll give you previews. Um, so you need to know that the first round is football crests. That's football crests. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Great, Richard. That sounds <laughs> a fun round. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's football crests first. And we've also got, <laughs> you think that sounds fun. We've also got a round on tools. Yes, those things you find in your tool shed tools so we've got eight questions all about your favorite tools hello helen how are you doing um with 10 minutes gone we have got about one minute and i'll be turning norwich off and i'll be paying my full attention to you okay here we go we're breaking we're breaking we're breaking we're breaking no we're not gonna pause it i i can't cope with that uh we're breaking we're breaking come on uh, round is there a sex captain Tom more round? No, no, I'm sorry, I'm afraid I haven't done a sex captain Tom round. Here we go, crossing the oh, awful. Uh, so 19 on the stream, 26 people ready. That is, we are nearing the 30 mark, and the 30 mark, I've never got above 30. So, thank you. We are probably the third highest um attendance at the quiz. Evening, Dan, how are you doing? If you missed it, I'm drinking a waggle dance. Um, because I know you are my biggest drink fan. If you, <laughs> I just went for this uh, quick. Come on, Toddy. Come on, Toddy. Come on, Toddy. Where are you going? Ugh, nothing. Back towards the zone. Patience is the key for Norwich tonight. So with one minute remaining, we still have 26 people ready to quiz. We also have 21 people on the stream. We're doing well. Um, I am here all the way through to the end of lockdown. And from what I read in the papers today, I could be here till May. So, um, wow, it could get repetitive. Okay. Oh, that was a terrible marriage. Okay. Oh, well, just, I'm just watching this attack and then we'll start the quiz, I promise. Come on. Come on. Pass it out. Come on. Did you hear a high pitched noise? Come on. Come on, Maxie. Ref! Right, turn it off. Let me just watch this free kick. I'll just watch this free kick and then we'll get on with the quiz. <laughs> We've got 26 on the quiz. We have 30 seconds left to go. Someone's dropped off. Sick of the Norwich chat already, probably. Why are they waiting? It's not supposed to start till 8 30, so you can't have a go at me. 27 on the quiz. Welcome. Uh, Vic is drinking gin like a proper Brit. Oh, very good. And he's just having a Jura bourbon. Oh, I love a Jura. Any Jura is good, really. But yeah, I love a Jura. So we have 22 on the stream. That is probably the most I've had on the stream since July. We have 28 on the quiz. I'm about to watch this free kick, and then I'll be with you. The Norwich are going off. I'll worry about them in my own little head. We have 29 on the quiz. Free kick comes in, and it's terrible, and it's going off. Right. Um, full attention. Please don't mention the score in the comments if you can help it. If you can't, can't help it. I mean, it'll add to the comedy, if anything. So... We'll give it a 10 second countdown. It's 8.30, says Jack. And I know it's 8.30, Jack. I'll be start. I start it manually just to let people get in before the start. Here we go. 10. Goal, says Graham Hunt. I don't know if he's joking or not. I'm just going to check that. Give me the phone. I'm just going to check that um, on the Twitter and then I'll be with you. Give me the phone. Um, 
Not according to my phone. Give me so the phone. I'm just ignoring that. Right, are we ready? In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's time to get quizzy. Okay, so football crests, here we go. Name the football cl club. Is that Paris Saint Germain? Is that Stade Francais or is that Paris FC? And um, Paul tells me he's just finished the UK guide to hitchhiking. Gives it a big thumbs up. Good one. <coughs> okay, so I can see we definitely have 27 on the quiz. Getting their answers in nice and early. That's nice to see. And the answer was 77%. And I have some massive news for you. It looks like the website has been updated. I can actually see the top 30. Okay. So we're going to have some quite big countdowns coming up for you. Okay, next question. Name the football team. Is that Atalanta? Is that Roma or is that Lazio? Is that Atalanta, Romeo, Roma, Romeo or Lazio? Just checking them on the right Wi-Fi and not the um, extender like I was last week, which caused it to cut out twice. Um, so <laughs> is that football team? Is it Atalanta? Roma or Lazio? It is Roma as a whopping 85% of you got correct. And we have a brand new leader at the top of the leaderboard and a chap who doesn't normally do too well in second. Well done, you. But as I say, I can see the top 10 here. Now, it's whether I choose to do the top 30 in. Oh, go to. Sarah, name the football team. Is that Barcelona, Real Madrid, or Valencia? So they've updated it. I can see the top 10 here at any one time. I can't see the top 30. You have to pay for that. And, you know, my time is valuable and money is also valuable. So I won't be paying for that. Um, name the football team Barcelona, Real Madrid, or Valencia. But I can give you the top 10, which is probably fine. Valencia, yeah. I had a Valencia shirt once, actually. doesn't fit me anymore. It's got a big hole in it. Um, so <laughs> just a little bit of info for you. We have a brand new chap at the top of our leaderboard. And I'll be running through the top because I'm so excited about being able to see a top 10. I'll be flying through these every round. OK, name the football team. I think that's quite an easy one for you. Is that Ghoul Town? Is that Hull City? Or is that the Burwell Tigers? I'm terrified of vertical axis. The therapy, therapy says, why me? Screams. Yeah, why? And then I scream. Yes, it's a bit complex for me. I've had two beers. Right, come play. Next one. Name the football team. Here we go. Oh, we're still getting answers in. That's Hull City, as 88% of you said. I'm glad that one person put Ghoul Town. Go on, Ghoul. Oh, sorry. Knocking I was doing fine getting home from the pub, and somebody trod on my fingers. Very good. Um, so Sarah's the one knocking the table tonight. Sorry. I've gone for the lighting, professional lighting and the lighting outside. I think it works perfectly. Name the football team. Is that Galatasaray, Basiktax, or is that Benabachi? So there we go. That's the aim, name of end of the football badge round for all you people obviously complaining already. That's the end of that round. And I'm going to run through quickly the top 10. It is Galatasaray as 81 percent if you look at it you can see a g and an s okay in 10 is christine balba in ninth the gin drinkers in eighth is marshmallow seventh is fruit snake six are the brutons fifth is the herdmans fourth is otis and molly third is belushi second is gray dog and first is elliot now we have a quiz round in a quiz what is the name of the coughing major who cheated his way to victory on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <coughs> is it Gordon Watts? Is it Charles Ingram? Is it Philip Watts? Or is it James Ingram? So the name of the coughing major who cheated his way to victory on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I should have coughed at the right point. Shouldn't I? That would have been a good use of the mm. cough, yes. Charles Ingram, as 85% of you said. I don't think they needed to have. We're right. Um, so there we go. Famously coughed, his, his wife coughed um, in the crowd to try and get him to answer the right questions. And he, he did what he won. Who presented Telly Addicts? Was it Jim Davidson from Big Break? And could it be Telly Addicts? Is it Des O'Connor from Take Your Pick and Telly Addicts? Is it Noel Edmonds from Noel Edmonds House Party and Telly Addicts? Or is it Terry Wogan from the Terry Wogan Radio 2 show and Telly Addicts? You tell me. 
<laughs> oh, blank. I think it is blankety blank, Terry Wogan as well. Am I right, Sarah? I think so, yeah. It is Noel Edmonds. He also did the brilliant Telly Addicts. And um, I'll tell you something in a minute. Someone has just entered the room who we spent most of our week worrying about. Um, okay. So we might bring him on screen in a minute if Sarah can get his attention. Okay, next question coming up. Which show featured the walk of shame? Is it Big Break? Is it the Generation Game? Is it Blockbusters? Or is it the weakest link? And um, we actually have Jane McDonald playing with us tonight. Wow. I didn't expect that to happen. Which show featured the walk of shame? Is it Big Break, the Generation Game, Blockbusters, or the weakest link? Oh. Is, is, uh, open the curtains. Okay. And the answer is the weakest link as 88% of you said. Is everybody? There we go. Here he is. There he is. So this guy ran away Monday night and I spent the whole 48 hours worrying, arguing with every single family member and he has strolled back in Wednesday evening. What a foul no thing he is. Okay, possibly the greatest quiz team in Britain is the tagline for which quiz show? Is it Eggheads? Is it University Challenge? Chase the Chasers or Mastermind? So the greatest quiz team in Britain. I just broke a flask of nitrous oxide onion juice. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. Oh. Julian Thrasher is glad that Tango is back, slash Norman. Uh, you let us know what you think is a better name, Tango or Norman, and uh, we'll call him it. Um, so, yeah, the greatest quiz team in Britain was the Eggheads. Of course. Oh, terrible, Norman. terrible show. Just to irritate. You just too. Apart from the ones when they lost, every other show was terrible. In which decade was Mastermind first broadcast? Is it the 80s? The 60s, the 70s, or the 90s. So, in which decade was Mastermind first broadcast? I can write up my nose, this uh, camera. I normally don't mind that, but it's really annoying me tonight. So, the decade was Mastermind first broadcast. The 80s, the 60s, the 70s, or the 90s? It was the 70s. It was first broadcast in 72. Uh, Julian Thrasher says Tango. Okay. Mm. Fair dues. One vote for Tango. Um <laughs> Coming up to question 11. So this is 10 questions on quiz. 10 questions on quizzes. Fantastic. Inception at its best. Who presented a question of sport from 79 to 97? Is it Bill Beaumont? Is it David Vine? Is it Sue Barker? Or is it David Coleman? So who presented a question of sport from 79 to 97? Bill Beaumont, David Vine, Sue Barker, or David Common. I believe they've all presented Question of Sport in some realm, but who presented it from 79 to 97? It is David Coleman, as 46% of you said. And as Ryan told me earlier, it's very hot in this house, and it is very hot in this house today. It's really hot in this house. Can someone turn up the heat in? Probably. Jane okay. McDonald's, really. Any excuse to get the shirt out. Um, yes, she is, but we're not going to say anything until at the end of this round. Okay, on countdown, how many numbers are selected in the number round? Is that is it six, five, seven, or eight? So the round where they say five big ones and one small one, I've just given you the answer. <laughs> <laughs> or two for the top of any four you want. Uh, two for the top of any four you want, yeah. You know, if you're watching this, you, your you know, you deserve it. You sat through my nonsense. Um, and well done. Hopefully you've got that right. It is six. So countdown. They chose six numbers. That's number wang, says Paul's <laughs> Egg Nest. It is. Yeah, that is number wang. We have a round on numbers later. And no, it's not just maths. Okay, next question. Uh, what is the penultimate round in Pointless? Is it elimination round? Is it the picture round? Is it head to head? Or is it choose the category? The sip of the beer. We have 24 on the stream. I think it's the highest it's ever been. I'm two folks. I think we have 27 or 28 on the quiz, but we have the highest streamers we've ever had. Thank you. It is head to head. I thought that's one. Yoga instructor required must be flexible. Uh, my mate is addicted to ladder theft. Reckon he's taken steps to quit. Um, okay, next question coming up in the quiz round. How many contestants start each game of a quiz, which has been hosted by both William G. Stewart and Sandy Toxvic? Is it six, 
15, 12 or 9. So there's a quiz which has been hosted by William G. Stewart and Sandy Toxvig. And I believe it's done on the telly now and then. Uh, but how many contestants start the game? <laughs> and the answer is 15 because, of course, the quiz is called 15 to 1. Okay, next question coming up. And I've just realised something. I didn't go for a wee at the start of this, and I've had two pints. That's a worry not for you, but for my bladder. Okay, and then question 15 coming up. Which song by the Eurythmics lends its name to a panel show hosted by Rob Bryden? Is it Would I Lie to You? Is it Sweet Dreams? Is it Don't Ask Me Why? Or is it When Tomorrow Comes? So, there is a band called the Eurythmics. Those are four of their tunes. But which one is also the name of a quiz show? And the answer is, as most of you pop, would I lie to you? So let's run down the top 10. In 10th is Team Thrasher with 66 points. In 9th is The Herdman, 67. Belushi with 69 points. In 7th is Fruit Snake. In 6th is Tommy Tank. And 5th is Bernie, all on 70 points. 4th, Brut and 71. 3rd, Justina, 75. 2nd, Elliot, 77. And Jane McDonald leads the way on 79. It's the number round. Which is the fifth prime number? Is it 11, 9, 7, or 5? That's a bit more natural now. <laughs> so the 11th prime number, is it 11, 9, 7, or 5? Just guess. Don't just guess. Work it out. It is 11. Uh, because, of course, the first prime number is 1, then 3, then 5, then 7. 9 can be divisible by 3, so it isn't a prime number, and it becomes 11. Okay, so it was 11. This is, I believe these were questions from, well, I don't know. No, these weren't uh, 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 um, These weren't Charlotte questions. What two numbers feature on a UK number plate for a car registered in September 2017? Is it 57? Is it 07? Is it 17? Or is it 67? So as you can see, it's a number round, but it's not all maths. Because I will get lots of complaints about that. I'm thinking the gin drinkers would definitely make <laughs> Yeah. It's 67, as 48% of you said. So well done to 48% of you. And this leaderboard, I tell you what, from 1st to 10th, it's separated by nine points. Wow. Okay. This is a quiz. It's on. And I, Kosagon, which when I mentioned it to Sarah, she said, that's a made-up word, um, has how many sides? Is it 12? 15, 20, or 10. If you need a clue, it's the number of sides that on the price is right, the big wheel had. Okay, that probably doesn't help anyone, but that's your clue. And I, Kosagon, has 20 sides. Uh, 33% of you said, exactly a third of you said, and I, Kosagon, has 20 sides. A slight gap being brought by Jay McDonald and Bernie. I'm, I'm thinking Elliot. Jay McDonald might be having a platter of some sort. I think Jay McDonald just likes the maths. Okay. Brazil is bordered by how many countries? Is it 8, 10, 12, or 6? So again, we're on the numbers, but um, you know, it's not all about maths. How many uh, countries is Brazil bordered by? So it's a big old country. I think it has the third most many board boundaries, borders, sorry, of any country. But you'll see in the fact at the end. Um, that. So here we go. Yes, it is 10. So it has 10 borders with 10 countries. Every country in South America, with the exception of Chile and Ecuador. OK, so every country borders Brazil. It um, has the world third longest land border behind China and Russia. Unbelievable, hey? Totaling 10,492 miles. What is four factorial? Often written as four exclamation mark, question mark. Not written with a question mark, obviously. Is it 16, 24, 256, or 64? So four factorial. What is that? What does it mean? And what's the answer? Means more beer. Means, means more beer first of all. It is 24 because four factorial is four times three, which is 12, times two, which is 24, times one is 24. That's four. Factorial is 25% if you said. 16 is, of course, 4 squared. Uh, 64 is 4 cubed. 
and two five six is four times four times four times four four to the power of four buckle my shoe is a traditional bingo call for which number is it 62 42 32 or 22 so when a bingo caller says buckle my shoe what number is he referring to corduroy pillows are making headlines very good i've had some <laughs> terrible gifts in the past but a ruler i draw the line with that um 32 so when the bingo caller says buckle my shoe he also says 32 buckle my shoe 32 i'm loving the number round i'll tell you what i might actually have to extend the time in between questions to 25 seconds because my throat is sore already okay next question um which fictional character had his shop at 186 fleet street is it sweeney todd is it delboy is it Winifred Brank? Winifred Brank? Uh, I can't. I can't say that word. Winifred Banks or Cordelia Gray? So one eight six Fleet Street. Who resided there? Fictional, fictional. Um, Sweeney Todd as eighty eight percent. You said uh, Dan's just asked me how drunk I am. That's very rude. Um, <laughs> I, two beers. I've had a pint and a half, so not very is the answer. Um, I don't. But I did have noodles for lunch, and they were very spicy. Uh, You've had a pizza. Let me continue the story, Sarah. How many hours are there in March? 480, 744, 720, or 504? Yes, sir. let me continue the story, Sarah. I had noodles for lunch, which weren't very filling. were a bit too spicy, which means I've spent a little bit of time upstairs. Um, um, I came down, had a big pizza. Uh, about three quarters of pizza very nice then i had to go upstairs again thanks to noodles so maybe i've got rid of all the food that was helping me sustain my non-drunkenness but no i'm not too drunk um there's 744 hours in march so 30 times 24 is 720 plus 24 744 the seven mile bridge can be found at which u.s state is it new york state is it california texas or florida Nice to see one of the uh, members of the central finance team in Hemel loving the number round. Good, good work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Seven Mile Bridge can be found in Florida, as 59% of you said. And here we go with it. Oh, no, not yet for the top 10. Paul Fuskin says, I just want to be rich enough to throw leftovers away after dinner instead of putting them in Tupperware and throwing them away a week later. <laughs> 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 that's really good. That's a, that's a Peter K ism almost. What color is a number 14 on a roulette wheel? What a stupid question, isn't it? I'm going to do a, just jam your hand on the screen for this one. Is it red or black? Uh, Paul from Skinner says, I can always tell when they use fake dinosaurs in films. Okay, so your top 10 is coming up. The number 14 on a roulette wheel, I hope it's 50 50 here. It's not. Most of you knew it was red. Okay, so the Herbmans are 10th with 94 points. With 95 is Tommy Tank. With 96 is Alan. With 99 is Bernie. With 100 is Grey Dog. With 101 is Hannah. With Team Thrasher in fourth with 101 as well. Elliot in third with 102. Belushi with 104. And way out in the lead with 129 is Jane McDonald. Which Star Trek villains famously use cloaking devices? I spelt villains wrong. Is it Vulcans, Klingons, Romulans, or the Borg? So, here we go with this science fiction round. I know. Aren't these rounds awful this week? <laughs> I don't care. Um, when James Bond is abroad, is he known as 4407? Quite good. Uh, Klingons <laughs> use cloaking devices, famously. I think they all use cloaking devices to some degree. Probably apart from the Borg, who just have that big cube rocking around. I'm sure Richard S. will tell you. I'm sure Richard S. will tell me if I'm wrong, yeah. He is a Star Trek fan, as am I in some degree. Okay. Which TV presenter created Black Mirror? Is it Chris mm -hmm. Morris? Mm -hmm. Who, Dennis? Bryce Dallas Howard or Charles Brooker? He wants um, to get in the window. Naughty Norman um, is trying to get in the window. He's entered it. I thought he was trying to unplug the laptop. That would be the very essence of Norman. Um, the TV presenter created <laughs> Black Mirror is Charlie Brooker, as nearly all of you got correct between 10th and second i can tell you there's only 11 points jay mcdonald is flying one almost won't say she's cruising 
Okay, next. What is the subtitle of the 2016 Independent sequel? Independence Day is what the quiz master meant. Um, is it Invasion, <laughs> Insurgence, Resurgence, or The Return? I do hope you're all watching me on YouTube. I can see four of you aren't. So that question makes no sense. What is an independence? What, what film's called Independence? <laughs> <laughs> it's Independence Day Resurgence. Not Insurgents, Resurgence. Because, of course, they returned. And the film's much worse. <laughs> um, absolute garbage, I'm afraid. Um, but uh, good news for everyone. The science fiction round only lasts five questions. So you can't get too angry. Which actor reprised his role as Rick Deckard in the 2017 sequel of Blade Runner 2049? Is it Harrison Ford? Is it Rutger Hauer? Is it Ryan Gosling? Or is it Jared Leto? Um, three of them were definitely in Blade Runner 2049. I, I do own it, but haven't watched it yet. Um, but And one of them was just in Blade Runner, I believe. But who was Rick Deckard? Rick Deckard was Harrison Ford, as 55% of you knew. Well done to 55% of you. Ginging, because it's not who I thought it was. Okay, next question <clears throat> coming up. Um, and then we'll give you a quick rundown as we enter the last 20 questions of how I would do it. I tell you, this flying today. Have I messed the timing as well? Which actor, actor was the star of Doctor Who when Billy Piper first played Rose Tyler? Is it Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, Paul McGann, or Matt Smith? So four of the latest Doctor Whos, apart from Peter Capaldi and the lady who I can't remember. Um, oh, no, I'm sure I'll have someone to go away about that. But, um, you know, she's the latest one. It's Christopher Eccleston. It's half and half between him and David Tennant, but actually, yes, she did appear uh, with Christopher Eccleston first. More famously, maybe, with David Tennant, but she was with Christopher Eccleston. He was only in for a series, so um, she became more, I would say, closer to David Tennant. Okay, which is the correct logo? Oh, this round's going to blow your mind. Which is the correct logo, left or right? And after this one, I will give you a quick rundown of the top ten. I've got a great job checking elastic bands. I can even take work home at a stretch. Oh, dear. Sarah, what oh, is it? Oh, right. Sorry, I couldn't it's see from the... It's the right, because the left has too many P's in it. Um, and in your top 10 is Fruit Steak in 10th with 111. Georgina is 9th and 114. The Hermans with 114 as well in 8th. In seventh is Hannah with 116, Tommy Tank 122, Elliot 123, Grey Dog 123, Team Thrasher in third, Belushi in second, Jamie McDonald still leads the way, which is a correct logo, top of bottom, also known as top or bottom. Um, so Samsung, does it have uh, the top logo or does it have the bottom logo? I'm always thinking of new rounds for you lovely people. This is one of my best, I think. Mm -hmm. And it is the bottom. But I'm very glad we're getting almost half and half. That means it's quite difficult. And there is one. I can tell you now um, that the... Oh, Paul Gray, IT Supernova, pressed the wrong one on Samsung. <gasps> what? Which is the correct <laughs> logo, left or right? None of them. It's indistinct. Oh, the, the last sure. one. If you, ain't, if you ain't got a big screen... Just guess. You ain't getting it. Just guess. Exactly. I was going to buy a poultry business in Aylesbury, but decided to duck out of it. Um, the correct logo on, for Oreos is the right. Yes, more people got that right. 66%. Of course, the arch that way. Not that way. Concave and convex. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like okay, between 10th and 3rd, we only have 8 points now. Slight gap. With second and first. Where is Charlotte today? I've actually no idea. Um, which is the correct logo? Come Just on. Just guess. Just Come guess. On. Which is it? Left or right? There's a one little indistinguishable difference. But which is right? Left or right? We'll get Charlotte for you because I know you're all missing her. I don't know where she is, though. You want proof of life? <laughs> People want proof of life. Yeah. And the correct one is the left. And it's the left because if you look on the right, the F has a slight extension on it. Yeah, that's right. How ridiculous is that question? You know, you've joined me for this quiz. Stop moaning. 
Okay, correct logo time. We've still got more of these. I love these this round. I think it's one of my best rounds. I really think that. Um, which is the correct logo, left or right? That is Twitter, as you will all know, of course. But which is the correct logo? At time of writing, of course. You know, it might have been the left or the right before. I'm just playing top so Charlotte's wearing her Neo outfit today, all, all in black. Can I just stop everybody? Mm -hmm. She was playing top trumps in Adam's bedroom nicely for at least an hour. Playing no nicely fancy. with her brother for over an hour. Wow. Right, off you go then. Where is Name the Wrestler, says Vic. <laughs> Name the Wrestler. I can't do any more obscure than I went. I'm afraid I did all the famous wrestlers, Vic. I'm very sorry. Oh. Which is the correct logo, left or right? So, is it left or is it right? Do you want to come and say hello? The correct logo for Citroen cars, left or right? Hi, Charlotte, says Helen. Hello, says Christine. Hi, Charlotte, Hi. says Vic. Hi. Hi. And it is left, as 77% of you said. The correct logo for a Citroen yeah. is on the left. Two of the uh, upside-down Vs, as it were. Table. Table indeed. Knocking mm. again. Okay, next logo coming up. The final logo Get in the correct logo. Oh, yeah. Do one off the table. Uh, which is a... <laughs> I want a nice one on the fridge. Which is the correct logo? What about the fridge, Top Charles? or bottom? No, it's fine. On the table's fine. T table's fine. Oh, you have to find the can opener. Right? Oh, yeah. <sighs> which is the correct logo for Puma? I had some Puma football boots. Didn't help my skill at all. Oh, that, that's a noise. Generally, mean Twitter said something. It may involve Norwich. I'm not going to look. No, no, it's nothing to do with Norwich. Uh, the, the correct logo is the top. Okay, yeah, there you go. What a great round this has been. The, the demanding um, of seeing Charlotte has stopped them playing. Oh, here we go. Um, okay, so which tool used by a blacksmith shares its name with a part of an ear? Yes, it's the much, much wanted tools round. Is it a forge, an anvil, a vice, or tongs? And after you answer this question, I will give you the top ten. Um, Vic just texts me saying boobies. There it is. Um, <laughs> anvil, as 92% of you said and 92 percent of you will be right in 10th is fruit snake ninth elliot is dropped down unfortunately team thrasher in eighth georgina climbs the leaderboard in seventh justina in sixth tummy tank fifth gray dog still hanging in there in fourth the herman's climbing quick in third belushi in second jane mcdonald still leaves the way a set square is what shape is it a triangle a square a rectangle or a circle jane mcdonald was quick in there yeah jane mcdonald and belushi both fast on the finger I tried Googling, my servant is missing, but it just said page not found. I think she was referring to Charlotte, by the way. What's that? Boobies. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is triangle, as 85% of you said. Yeah, a set square is the shape of a triangle, even though it's called a set square. Uh, 24 on the stream, we, that's literally the most I've ever had, so thank you very much. Um, even more than the, my final quiz that I did in J July. How ironic. Um, okay, in which two sports would a mallet be used? Oh, it looks like we've let a goal in. Is it crochet, fencing, polo, or curling? Thanks, Paul Maguire. Not doing the quiz, but ruining the football for me anyway. So, in which two sports would a mallet be used? Crochet, fencing, polo, or curling? Sarah, tell me the bad news. Woeful defending. Woeful defending. Oh, dear. Let's just check Twitter. Thank you, Paul Maguire. Um, yeah, it's one nil. <sighs> crochet and polo, forty-four percent croquet and polo <laughs> were the two sports a mallet would be used for. No, no, I need to check the details. <sighs> Question: Twenty-five on the stream, enjoying the fact I'm now miserable. For what is a bill hook used? Is it pruning, chopping, shaving, or cutting? They're playing top trumps, by the way. So a bill hook. What is it used for? Is it pruning, chopping, oh. or cutting? It's used for pruning and cutting. Different to chopping. Um, <laughs> 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 
Julian Thrasher says, ha ha, I don't know what about. Um, probably about my, uh, hopefully not about Norwich and more no, about croquet. the fact I can't say croquet and I said crochet. Um, <laughs> well, who would use a last? Is it a cobbler, a blacksmith, a welder or a gunsmith? Who would use a last? Is it a cobbler, a blacksmith, a welder or a gunsmith? Let's find out if you know the answer. The crochet, thank you, thank you. Um, Vic asks, what's the difference between chopping? Chopping is this, cut, cutting is this. Um, a last is used by a cobbler. To be fair, that's the only complaint I get about the um, <laughs> tools. tools round. I'm happy. We are literally into us. This is fly past this quiz tonight. Okay. The name of a cutting tool is also which US slang word for a guitar? Is it archtop, axe, scissor, or gitten? Uh, Vic's put, but I cut with a knife and it's not like scissors. <sighs> right. Just leave it out. All right. Just leave it out. Um, the cutting top, <laughs> Norwich are losing. I'm not having a great night, apart from the quiz, obviously. Um, so what's the name of the cutting tool? It's also a US slang word for a guitar. Um, it is an axe. Of course, you'd play your axe in America. It's getting very tired of the top all of a sudden. Mm. Yeah, indeed. Oh, the top. What substance would someone be working with if they were using an adze? Is it metal, clay, wood, or steel? Vic says it looks like I'm on a great night. Well, I was until Paul Maguire ruined it for me. But to be fair, if I'd looked at my phone at half time and realised we were losing, I'd have been equally as annoyed. So, you know, I suppose I got the bad news early. It is what it is. It's Norwich. Indeed, it is Norwich. And it is wood as 25% of you. Yeah, if you were using Adze, an Adze, you would be... Uh, using uh, a device which worked with wood. Just ordered a book called How to Never Pay Tax Again, only cost seven ninety nine plus that. Very good. <laughs> Can I just say, fourth to tenth, nine point. Okay, what next is question. It? What is a mattock? Is it a large spanner, a large axe, a large hammer, or a large pick? So what is a mattock? Is it a spanner, an axe, a hammer, or a pick? Why have you set that up? I haven't. Yes, you did. <laughs> oh, I'm all stressed now. Right, so it's probably because there's only one round left. A mattock is a large pick. as 45% of you go. Right, we're into the top 10 before the final round. It's Bernie, Justina, Paul, Alan, Georgina, Tommy Tank, Grey Dog, The Herdmans, Belushi, and flying away, I think almost guaranteed the win, is Jane mm -hmm. McDonald. Which she film star links these three films? Jurassic Park, The Tall Man, and Independence Day. Is that Sam Neill, Will Smith, or Jeff Goldblum? So no potluck tonight. No potluck. I've given potluck a rest. This is one film star, three films. Who is it? What? Potluck. Potluck. <laughs> and the film star that appears in all three is the very tall man, Jeff Goldblum. Do a Jeff Goldblum impression. I would not. I would not want to sully the great actor's name with my poor impression, uh, Vic. So no. Oh, that top ten. It's getting tighter. I'm changing. Okay, which film star links these three films? Edward Scissorhands, Little Women, and Heather's. So which film star links these three films? Edward Scissorhands, Little Women, and Heather's. Are you reading the options, or? Is it Winona Ryder, Johnny Depp, or Sig I was pouring my beer, Sarah? Is it Winona Ryder, Johnny Depp, or Sigourney Weaver? It is Winona Ryder, as seventy percent of you said. Well done. I could almost say that first and second are tied up now with three questions left. I cannot, however, say the same for third to tenth. It is tight at the top. Oh, well, it's not tight at the top, but just just below the top. Um, which film star links these three films? Is it Ghost, The Outsiders, and Red Dawn? Uh, I used to go out with a girl who was made completely out of Velcro, but I dumped her because she was clean. Um, three films, Ghost, The Outsiders, and Red Dawn. Do they star Demi Moore, Patrick Swayze, or Charlie Sheen? So one film, three films, one star. Who starred in all of them? <laughs> um, it is Patrick Swayze, of course. Uh, with two... 
Sarah just shut the table. Just have lost a part of my favourite adjustable spanner. It's a bit of a wrench, to be honest. I don't really want to talk about it. So again, I can't tell you. I can always tell you it's coming third now, but I couldn't tell you from fourth to tenth. Which film star links these three films? Ocean's Eleven, The Mexican, and Thelma and Louise. Is it Julia Roberts, Susan Sarandon, or Brad Pitt? So which film star links those three films? Who was in all three? Is it Julia Roberts, Susan Sarandon, or Brad Pitt? They're all in at least one, but who was in all three? Uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt is in Thelma and Louise. And in the with the final question to come, the top three are pretty much sealed but from fourth to tenth it could all change it'll soon be pancake day again it really creps upon you which film star links these three films speed blue velvet or easy rider and easy, and ride. easy or easy rider so who appears in all three is it dennis hopper peter fonda or keanu reeves I'll make something better. Okay. Is Dennis Hopper as 48% if you said? So there you go, Dennis Hopper. And that is it. The quiz is done. I'm now going to take you through the top 10 in around 10 seconds. Then I'm going to go to my seat after a brief farewell and be miserable for 45 minutes and then enjoy some Jay McDonald. And Tango is back or Norman. Okay. Can I see the top 30? No, I can't. I can give you the top 10, however. In 10th, with 181 points, is Paul. In 186 points, of so just ahead, in 9th, is Justina. On equal points, but slightly quicker on the thumbnail, is Team Thrasher in 8th. In 7th, is Fruit Snake, i.e. Alan, just 6 points ahead. In 6th, is Returnee Georgina, with 195 points. Welcome back to the quiz universe. You smashed it in sixth. In fifth is the grey dog. Always doing well since his emergence in the quiz universe with 197 cool. points. In fourth is Tommy Tank, just outside the top three, with 199 points. In third, the Herdmans, they're always there or thereabouts, with bronze, 210 points. In second, Many a winner, but not today, is Belushi with 228 points. And the nearly winner from last week, because I believe it is not actually Jane McDonald, it's the Spilsby Hermans yeah. with two Zs. With 249 points is Jane McDonald, who was so fast on the buzzer tonight. Four minutes, 42 is all the time she took to answer all 50 questions. Very, very impressive. And that's the end of... <laughs> Go Jane, says the Herman family. Well, indeed. Um, I'm surprised the Spilsby Hermans weren't with us tonight. They've been with us every quiz. Don't worry, they watch the, they watch the stream. Uh, and Jane took their place. Well done, Jane. She yeah. wins with 249 Jane points. McDonald's. That's Jane McDonald's, Charlotte. She's Jane done my McDonald's. quiz. Yeah, she's done my yeah, quiz. Yeah, you know the one who does uh, all the cruising on TV. Uh, thanks for a great quiz, says Helen. Yes, see you next Friday. Of course you will. Um, good job Jane didn't collapse like we did last week Indeed, Herbans uh, Tango the Cat says Jack Yes, that was Tango yeah, the Cat yeah. um, And welcome and thank you all for watching The highest ever stream count we've ever had With 26, concur 26 concurrent streamers um, For quiz number five The one where I worry about Norwich And we're losing So what's the point in worrying uh, Christine says enjoy Jane Thank you, it was fun But I was a bit rubbish at the end Where did you finish Christine? Um, as the pricing structure on the uh, website I use does not allow me to see the top 30, I'd love to know where any of you finished who were out of the top 10. Justina says, thank you. A good, really good quiz again. Logo round was fun. It was all right. I like the logo round. I didn't nick that off a website, but I mean, as I do most of my questions. Naughty, naughty. But there you go. So there you go. Quiz number five is done. Well done to Jay McDonald. Well done to all of you for finishing in the top 10. 127 points, my mum got. Well, that's quite woeful. Um, and I, I will see yeah. you all uh, next week, Not half past eight. Good. We are going all the way through to the end of lockdown, which could be quite a while. Lynn was 26th. 
I was 16th in the Battle of the Richings. Well done, Anne. You still did it. Uh, Christine Bobber says Norwich can still win. Doubtful, but we'll see. Mm. Um, and uh, I will see you next week. Half eight on the dot. See you then. Thanks for taking part. Goodbye from the Bombers and the Hills. Time to worry for 45 minutes. Oh, no. Bye-bye.